But we're going to start off, how good is this first cruise? It's with Holland America. Now, they're a five-star luxury brand, aren't they? They are. Beautiful ship, Sean. Uh, lovely, lovely company. Uh, and this is premium class. It's not pretentious. It's elite without being expensive. Uh, and it's got a proud history stretching back over 137 years. That's how long they've been doing this. They know how to really give you a fantastic time. Premium cruising. Uh, 15 shops, uh, ships in the fleet. And a really lovely, friendly, uh, friendly crew who remember your every preference and that's it like with all the cruising experiences the crew are going to make it so special for you once you get on board lots of lovely use of artwork both traditional and new you can have the ipod tour as you walk around the ship and you can plug in in your own leisure see all the wonderful pieces of art around amazing dining they always give you healthy options along with really good uh, selection of mediterranean and far east cuisine uh, you name it you can pretty much eat it on board and again they even stick to traditions like afternoon tea and they have the chime ringing to announce dinner on board and things like this, no, which no, is a lovely little when, ancient tradition. When you experience the, this five-star luxury, you know, it, it, there really is a, you know, a noticeable difference from the four-star ships, which are still fantastic, don't get me wrong, but mm. to get a, a five-star experience such as this at 699... It's really, really great. Isn't it? And again, what's lovely, again, is it's a smaller ship, it's 55,000 tonnes, and there's only 1,200 passengers on board. Really? So, you know, you, you, nice you're not size, surrounded yeah. by lots of people. This is a much more intimate cruise experience for you, um, and that's also reflected in this five-star plus. Great entertainment because you're seeing pictures here uh, with Honda America. I had a couple of friends that used to be the dancers for Honda America, and uh, they had they had a great time. They said the standing and, ovations every night. You know? And Keith, some of my um, some of my friends that haven't travelled uh, on a five star cruise, they're sometimes worried that it's going to be a bit too formal for them. They're going to feel out of place. What would you say to that? Um, I'd say that that's certainly not the case. You know, um, th definitely there are different cruise experiences for different people, um, but all these lines now are, are giving a much more relaxed cruise yeah. experience, and you can make the cruise what you want. If you want to dress up, there's opportunity to do that, and if you want it to be a more relaxed experience, you can also do that. But believe me, you will love you will love the five star treatment. Anyway, mm. this starts off with a little flight over to Barcelona, and. You then begin your fantastic cruise. Yeah, 12 nights. First port is Valencia. Um, so I won't really talk about Barcelona too much because we're going to crack straight on and get stuck into Valencia. Um, so here we go now for Valencia. This one minute you're going to be doing battle of a plate uh, of the city's trademark pile. The next you'll be ambling through these airy galleries of, of wonderful museums and then going out on the silky sands uh, that this part of Spain is known for. Walk through the old town, largest preserved complex of its, of its kind in Europe. Great 13th century cathedral which is said to hold the chalice used by Christ in the Last Supper. Uh, and of course, you've got the City of Arts and Sciences on your front yes. doorstep. That wonderful aquarium, you're seeing it here, uh, the oceanographic, stunning architecture, wonderful both inside and out. And then Alicante, Alicante oh, sure. This is a palm line promenade packed with waterfront cafes, whitewashed houses freckled with these uh, fuchsia geraniums, world class museums with futuristic, futuristic attractions. Um, it's a buzzing city with a fairy tale fortress and swathe after swathe of gorgeous powder soft sand for you to enjoy. Of course, it's your gateway to the Costa Blanca. That should tell you enough. And if that's not enough, 45 minutes and you're into Benidorm. You can go and relax on Malpass Beach. <laughs> Now, our next part is one that I've, I've never been to this one. Uh, Montreal. Well, what I'm going to say about Montreal is the big thing to do here is to get a chance to go through to Granada. The wonderful, uh, the wonderful glory of Granada with the Alhambra Palace, uh, masterpiece of Moorish design and architecture where every single part of it is covered with decoration. After then, we're heading straight offshore to Gibraltar, affectionately known as Gibraltar, the rock. It's a slice of Britain in the Mediterranean, a slice of Portsmouth, road a few hundred miles into Spain. The towering rock is a great sight to behold, as you're seeing there. It overlooks a wonderful strategic position on the Mediterranean Sea. There's so much to see and do here. You can journey inside the rock, where you'll find miles and miles of road. Um, you can check out the ancient sea tunnels, the St. Michael's Cave you saw pictures of. See these cheeky people? Say, the wonderful age. That isn't me. I know <laughs> some viewers thought it was. Um, and, of course, you can go for the duty-free shopping, a taste of tapas, or even if you want, fish and chips and Marks and Spencers. It's all there. Red pillar boxes and bobbies that look like they do back here in the UK. <laughs> And uh, where next, Keith? Uh, then we're going to Cadith. Love this place. The heart of Cadith is its old town, cloistered uh, with this wonderful bastion ringed by the sea. Walk round the walls. They're gorgeous, and it's like walking back into part of Andalusia, ancient Spain. Tiny cobblestone streets lead into beckoning cafe-filled squares, uh, and you can just really admire this Moorish architecture, which almost leans in conspiratively to kind of kiss and whisper to each other. Or you can visit Seville, where the locals are devoted to bullfighting, flamenco, and fiesta. It's a fantastic part of the world. Um, and yeah, I mean, wow, what can I say? It's, it's amazing.
And then over to Lisbon. Lisbon, yeah, it's a stately city of neoclassical buildings with wide plazas. It's eternally linked to the sea. It's got a magnificent harbour spanned by the longest suspension bridge in Europe. Uh, you can stroll through the tram clattering cobbled streets to gems like Geronimus Monastery and the Bellum Tower, uh, which guards the harbour there. Make a beeline for the Afalma, which is the ancient Arab quarter, and see the atmospheric thieves market um, where it's, it's not quite as bad as it sounds it's beautiful a great step back in history <laughs> and then the day see just enjoy that five-star luxury ship with holland america and la Coruña. yeah this is a situation on an outstretch of land blanketed uh, on each side by sea absolutely beautiful incredible vistas um, a lovely old town where you can overlook the harbour lots of cafes where you can people watch and of course the tower of hercules which is the oldest lighthouse in the world that you're seeing here is the big big uh, it's been it's been operational for 2,000 years, Sean. Really? Yeah. And uh, then over to Bilbao, isn't it? Yeah, Bilbao. It's perched on the hills above the rust-coloured waters of the Nervian River. It's a thriving port, uh, and of course, it's the heart of the Basque Country. And Frank Gehry's Guggenheim Museum is the big thing there. And then. Relaxing Dead Sea, yeah, and then Portland, Portland still got Portland, yeah. situated on the stunning Jurassic coast. Henry VIII's got a famous castle there that he built it to defend against invasion from France or Spain. And of course here it's all about tales of shipwrecks, of smuggling in the Portland Museum. Go out to Dorchester, the historic market town, and the hometown for, for Thomas Hardy. Uh, and you can go through to Bath as well. But it's absolutely incredible, Sean. I mean, look at I how many... I was going to say, when you look at that map, we've, we've covered a lot of ports there, haven't we? It's, it's incredible. It's a really port-intensive cruise for a great price. 699 I can't believe that. Well, you can imagine how quickly this one is going to go tonight. Now, we are on board the MS Rhinedam, a stunning ship, five-star luxury all the way. And, you know, lots of nice areas to, to dine off. Fresco, to... Yeah, absolutely. To experience that five-star food. Yeah, and of course, once you get inside the cabin, Sean, you're looking at 100% uh, premium plus Eurotop mattresses, Egyptian cotton beds, extra fluffy towels, there's deluxe bathrobes. Everything is a cut above. There's real, real attention to detail with Holland America. You really will notice that. And just to remind you, uh, the price tonight has a saving of £1,700. That is your saving tonight off the brochure price, one of the biggest savings we've ever seen on the show. Mm. Now, obviously, what will happen, as you can imagine, um, a lot of the cabins at 699 will sell out in the near future, and then you might have to go for an ocean view or a suite. So if you do want that price of 699 please give us a call as soon as you can. The phone line's open until 10.30 tonight, and first thing tomorrow morning <laughs> at 9 o'clock. Works out at uh, £59 per person Incredible. per night, actually. And excursion-wise, Keith, now... It's, you know, it's always great to do excursions on the cruise ship, but they can be quite expensive sometimes, can't yeah, they? Yeah, they can be. Um, and this is up to 60% cheaper, and it saves that worry of getting on board the ship and thinking you've got to do everything in the first day on board or in the few hours before you hit the first port. Book it ahead, guarantee your place, take the worry out of those first few days on board. Santiago de Compostela is amazing from La Coruña there, and of course, Gibraltar. And so if they're booked through Planet Cruise, you can ask the call centers about them or check them out on our website as well.